Uh, thank you so much. Um, I can say, even if uh, we lost uh, that match, I mean, we lost that match, I could see that uh, the girls uh, did their best. They did uh, put in their, their best. Even if uh, there was uh, a bit of communication breakdown here and there, and uh, just uh, some loss of concentration. But I'm proud of the girls that they were able to put up a good fight. Looking at the team that we were playing against, they had the audience on their side and the experience also, we cannot uh, match them. But looking at, the, at today's performance, I can say we are almost there. I'm sure the next time we meet at this level, we'll be able to perform better than uh, we did. But uh, I'm proud of the girls that at least they, they played well. Look, uh, we knew it was going to be a tough match, but I think we made it even tougher for ourselves. We took a lead and then, you know, didn't put away the chances that we created. Um, and then it became a battle. Um, but sometimes, you know, it gets to a point where you have to grind out. And I thought we did because they came in the second half and uh, started playing balls, tried to play balls behind. And we didn't manage that really well. Um, but at the end, I thought with overall the way, the chances that we created, you know, uh, I thought we, we deserved the victory, but they gave us a tough time. Um, and uh, just happy for the players, um, the work that they've put in. Uh, we also gave a lot of players who went to the World Cup. They didn't get regular game time, some game time. Um, so they're gaining a little bit of experience and the newer ones also gaining a little bit more experience. And I felt that the group that was here, um, minus the players that uh, were not able to make it, um, uh, due to uh, not being FIFA dates, I thought they gained a lot of experience. It can only hold us in good stead going forward. Um, she's definitely concussed. Uh, she's been taken to hospital, so we're waiting on the doctor to report to us, report back to us. Look, as I said, we created a, a lot more opportunities and uh, we didn't take them. Um, I thought, uh, I'll have a look at the footage again, but I thought the one from Nicolo, I thought it was a really good goal. Um, but we created opportunities and if we had taken those opportunities, um, you know, uh, uh, that is the, the game would have become a little bit easier. Um, it later became a battle, as I said, um, but I thought that we won that battle as well. Um, look, uh, Nicolo stood out really well. Um, a very good footballer. Um, we gave one or two players uh, uh, debutants a chance. We saw a little bit that they have to offer. Um, Robin came back into the team. Um, Yilda came back into the team, and our pool is bigger now, uh, you know. And the experience that they've gained, um, I think that is huge. Um, uh, it's the Kosafa, and hopefully going forward, you know, um, now going to the next game, uh, which is which is Botswana. Um, and the overseas base players being available, but uh, I thought that the experience they gained a second to none. Mm, just like you saw, both teams uh, reached the, the finals. It means uh, there's a lot of uh, groundwork that is being done. Uh, women's football is developing, slowly developing in Zambia. And uh, the level of competition is, 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 is getting there. So if you saw the way we played against South Africa, the girls were determined. And uh, we had also utilized uh, the chances that we had. We could have also scored, but it's just that we missed the, the chances. But uh, a silver medal means a lot. We are getting it for the first time. We've never uh, received uh, this medal before. So it means a lot. Going forward, we'll fight so that next time we get a gold medal. It won't be easy for Banana if we are doing it again at that level. Yes. Look, uh, there was going to be pressure, obviously, everybody looking at South Africa. Um, pressure to, to perform, pressure to win, pressure to play well. And I thought at times we played really good football throughout the tournament. Um, at times, I thought uh, when we were trying to grit it out, we also did grit it out. And, um, you know, when we played our first game, um, it was very easy and we tried to, you know, keep the level up. Um, and obviously, yes, that puts a little bit of pressure on you um, as a group as well. But I thought the players handled it really well. Uh, thank you. So, like uh, for Zambia, I said uh, football is developing slowly because uh, in the past we used to have only two leagues which were running only in two regions. 
But uh, as at now, I can say we have almost uh, six leagues now. Six regions are also competing. At the end of the season, they have to meet uh, the champions. So a lot of girls are coming on board and they are putting in their best. So all we just need is a uh, full sponsorship for the girls to really work hard. And uh, they are developing slowly, day by day. They know what they want. Us going to the Africa Cup uh, last year also motivated the, the girls. And uh, we played Banyana and we drew 1 1. So just that draw, even the previous year, 2017, again, we drew against uh, Banyana. So the girls know to say they can do better than they are doing now. So a lot of girls are, they, they've started believing in themselves. And we know some came for the first time and the others were even playing for, for the first time at, uh, at this level. So it means a lot. And uh, the girls will develop as they go on. So the experience that we get out of this tournament will add to what we already have. Yes. Look, we, we work on it. Um, that's all we can do is consistently work on it. And the players have also um, been tasked to work on it at home. Um, and hopefully it will get better. That's all you can do is consistently work on it and make sure that uh, we create situations um, game-like um, where they can be in a similar situation because uh, with all due respect, the Sasa League in some games, um, the games are really very easy. Um, so you'd get two, three touches. When you play a little bit higher, you hardly get any touches on the ball. Sometimes you have to finish immediately. So that's what we're trying to recreate. And obviously the players at home need to work on that as well. Because you get maybe one week where you have to work with the team. And if they can work on that, hopefully it will get better. Look, um, hopefully the best teams in each province um, is going to play against each other. Um, uh, there are currently very few players in the national team though um, that are part of the National League. Um, a lot of them are still playing in the SESA League and hopefully that will raise the level, um, uh, the, close the gap a little bit. Um, I've also seen some fixtures anticipated to start uh, towards the end of the month um, and uh, play it at one venue and then we'll be able to see the quality that there is. Um, and hopefully that can help us, help us going forward.